is what I think, is what I think, feel, feel, and say, and say about myself. About myself. And it's an interesting thing about your word because the lesson is about how your word becomes flesh. By becoming flesh, we mean that what you think, what you feel, what you say about yourself is always coming into visibility as your experience. What you think about yourself, what you feel about yourself, what you say about yourself is always becoming incarnate, always coming into form as your experience. Now that's the law. As a man thinks, so is he. Say that. Say it again. Now listen to this. There is nothing that you can do to alter that law that as a man thinks, so is he. There's nothing that you can do to alter the law that your word becomes flesh. Your word becomes expressed as your experience. But there is something that you can do to control your experience by controlling your word. You can control what you think. You can determine how you feel. And you can learn to control your mouth. Surprisingly. Now I know for some of you that's difficult. But it can be done. You say with me, it can be done. You see, your word is so very important because you're always experiencing your word. Ask yourself this question, what am I saying about myself within myself? What am I feeling about myself within myself? What am I thinking about myself within myself? You see, that is your word. And everything happens first on the level of your word within your subjective self. And then becomes flesh. That's why you need to learn how to tell your mind what to think. You see, you can't let your mind just think randomly. That's right. In this world today, everybody and everything are out for your mind. You read the newspaper, they're out for your mind. You turn on television, they're after your mind. But you have to tell your mind what to think. You decide what you want to be to do and to have and start thinking in that way. Start feeling in that way. Start speaking the word in that way.
that I'm always saying. You hear me say it all the time, it's in almost every lesson. Health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. Let's hear it. And mind you, these are not idle words. Every word has power. My every word has power. Let's hear it. people send money into television preachers that they see on television 
and wonder what should they be sending that money rather to their local churches. So it doesn't matter where you send your money when giving comes, well, when it comes back to you. It does, but let me say that the level of giving in their local churches with the people that I've dealt with has increased. Really? Always has. Because those people became more prosperous. Hmm. So they would give to you and then they would increase They would the have more to they give, give to their to, to their local church. Has it ever not worked for somebody? It does not work if you work it. My sister, the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman, founder of Christ Universal Temple, that you are ahead of you, has this thing that I love to quote. It works if you work it. Hmm. In other words, this is science. This is a principle. You see, the, the, the white people taught us, first of all, and I read their books like Napoleon Hill, What's the number of that? Think and grow rich, you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. That was way, way back. Yep. Think and grow rich. Clement Stone, the laws of success. Uh, Deepak Chopra, the spiritual laws of success and so on. One thing I like about the white people is that they made a science out of everything. Mm -hmm. You see, and I noticed that. 